Okay, uh, we're talking about uh, rounding whole numbers. Um, just give me another example. This is an example of a type of word problem you could see on a, on a test. Okay, and on this problem it says the number below represents a number that has been rounded to the nearest thousand, and it's 34,000. Which of the following is a number that could be 34,000 when rounded to the nearest thousand? Okay, I want to go ahead and talk about uh, one of the first strategies that uh, that I really want you to use, and I want you to uh, box in the question. Okay, when I mean box in the question, just go and draw a box around the question. Okay, and that is to uh, just help you um, focus on what the question is. Okay, and what I want you to do is read the question at least three to four times. Which of the following is a number that could be 34,000 and rounded to the nearest thousand? And when you see a question like this, I want you to go ahead and uh, round all of your answer choices because uh, they, put, uh, they put stuff in there to try to confuse you. Okay, and if you remember the strategy of rounding, okay, we go ahead and we underline the place value that we're rounding to. So I'm going to go ahead and, hit and uh, underline the thousand position right there in 34,000. And I circle what we call the boss. And on this one, the boss is six. Okay. So the six is telling the four to go up. It's uh, five and above. You give it a shove. So the six is above five. So we're going to have the four shove. So that would be a five. So uh, we go ahead and everything to the right becomes a zero. And everything to the left stays the same. So that would be 35,000. Okay, go ahead and round the next number, B. So we underline the thousand position. We circle the boss. The boss is a five. The five is telling the four to go up. So that's going to become a five. And everything to the right becomes a zero. And everything to the left stays the same. Okay, now on the next one, on C, I have I'm going to underline the thousand position. I circle the boss. Uh, the, the boss here is telling us is that uh, it stays the same. So the three is going to stay the same. Okay, everything to the right becomes a zero. And everything to the left stays the same. So, and the last one on D. We're going to underline the boss. I mean, underline the place value that we're rounding to. Circle the boss. The boss is a five, it's five and above, so we're going to give it a shove. So that makes that a four. I'll do it down here below because we're getting kind of crowded there. Everything to the right turns into a zero, and everything to the left stays the same. So now we look at our, all of our answer choices. We went ahead and rounded each one. A rounds to 35,000. B rounds to 35,000. C rounds to 33,000. And D rounds to 34,000. So D would be our correct answer choice. We'll go ahead and circle D. And uh, that's how we do that type of uh, prop multiple choice problem. Just I want you to make sure uh, when you're doing any word problem from now on, I want you to go ahead and box in, box in the, um, the uh, question, what they're actually asking.